Hello fellow Brawlers, I'm Karis Dime and it is time to brawl. Brawl Stars, as I am releasing this video, is going global. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's here guys. Brawl Stars is going global, which is super crazy. So here's how this is working out. Um, it is starting out in the eastern part of the world. I know you know, the world is a globe, so but it's starting in Asia, okay? So it's starting in Asia, and then they are releasing it country by country, going west, west, west. I think it's for you, west, 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 until they have finally released the game in every single country in the world. I do not know when it's going to be released in the United States, though I believe that it is one of the, the last uh, places they want to release it, mostly because the United States is such a huge thing. And um, anyway, there's lots of stuff going on. One of the coolest things, though, is that they are actually letting us, the content creators, press the button for different countries. Which is so sweet. I don't know which country I'm going to be releasing Brawl Stars in, but I'm stoked. I know that Ark, who is from the UK, is going to be releasing it in the UK. So if something goes wrong with the UK, guys, blame Ark. <laughs> it's just super funny. Oh, man. It's just, it's just insane. Okay, so... Uh, also, when uh, so right now I actually don't have anything re ready to release for as far as like Brawl Stars videos go right now. Um, but as soon as I get back home, I am going to be hitting the Brawl Stars content hard. Okay, I've been saving a lot of types of videos that I've wanted to do in the past, like new brawler guides, um, getting Lady Kairos in on Brawl Stars action a little bit. You know, um, even doing a Brawl Stars acapella video. That's right. Um, that, which I've done for Clash Royale and I've done lots of acapella stuff on my channel, but you know, stuff like that, that I have been waiting for Brawl Stars to go global for. So once I get back from, from, from Helsinki, Finland, where Supercell's HQ is located, I'm absolutely going to be working out, uh, working on trying to get as many awesome videos as possible. Now, I wanted to let you guys know that I actually really suck at doing vlogs. I always come to Finland saying, I'm going to do a vlog. I'm going to do a vlog. And I'm just not that kind of person. Even ask my wife, okay? I am very much a an in-the-moment kind of guy. And I hate pulling out my phone to ruin that moment, if that makes sense. Like, it's just not my, it's not my cup of tea. So I've been doing some YouTube stories. Um, which is a new feature on mobile, um, YouTube mobile. So you pull up your app and things like that. You go to my channel, you swipe to the right and go past communities and you actually go to stories. And uh, you can check out some of the stuff that I've been doing there. That's a little bit more fun. And uh, and and what I wanted to do with today's video is I wanted to get, do a little bit of a recap of what has been going on today because I'm not an in-the-moment kind of guy. I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't know what I am. I'm, I'm not in the, <laughs> or I am an in-the-moment kind of guy. Um, first, the first thing I want to talk about was the video yesterday you guys are hilarious. So many comments in the section, or like in the video, people saying, no, you guys aren't, you guys aren't like jet lagged. You guys are drunk or you guys are stoned or something like that. We weren't, we were just tired. So tired. Oh man. Cause what Lex and I have found from our couple times coming to Finland is that the best way to deal, deal with jet lag is to not sleep at all on the way here and then to hit it hard when we get here because then we sleep because if we don't do that if we like sleep on the way here then we actually have really rough nights when we get here and then we're tired throughout the day and our our clocks don't reset so we hardball it throughout the entire flight and the traveling here and then we then we sleep super great that night because we've been awake for gosh like forever um for 30 plus hours um uh, and then we're on finished clock and it works great so that's what we were doing but we decided to record a video. I don't know why. It was the jet log. Anyway, anyway, whatever. Super funny. Okay, so today, woke up, ate breakfast, um, and it was kind of funny because I woke up a little bit later, you know, wanted to catch up on some sleep, went down. Everybody is out there at the breakfast cafe buffet or whatever playing Brawl Stars, <laughs> which was sweet. It was sweet to come down and see everybody playing Brawl Stars. We have over 70 content creators that are here, um, over 100 people total, and it's it's been really cool, and there's so much Brawl that's going on, which is really, really sweet. I'm loving it. So then we went to Supercell HQ, and I always love coming to the Brawl Stars HQ. Uh, the last time I went was the first time, and this time, I mean, it's just so cool. It's so cool to see the actual team. Um, definitely, definitely a different experience where we have so many content creators here. Then Ilka Pananin, or Pananin, sorry, Elka, if you're watching this, I screwed up your name, I'm sorry. CEO of Supercell actually addressed us, talked a little bit about the Supercell, um, how they set things up. Typically, 
businesses and organizations are set up with like different groups of people at the bottom and then it all leads up to the CEO and the CEO is the most powerful man in the company and Supercell has that totally flipped where you have he doesn't make any of the decisions for any of the games in fact he finds out about the updates for Brawl Stars when it goes glide, when it goes live, which is interesting. Anyway, so it was cool to hear from him. Um, the Clash of Clans, Boom Beach, and this, the Clash Royale team came and talked to us. Um, reps from YouTube and Facebook also came and talked to us, which is really good because we were able to ask some of some of those tough questions that keep us up late at night. <laughs> It was really cool. Then we had some time to, you know, meet with the other content creators, really sit down. Uh, you guys saw me doing some YouTube stories with some other, you know, content creators and stuff. Um, it was really cool. We had some artists come and actually do, like, brawlify ourselves. So, like, I sat down, you know, like, y'all always imagine, like, the guy sitting down here, like, the artist is drawing. That's legitimately, like, what I sat down. I sat down and I did that. And you saw my, you know, he was slowly drawing it. It's really cool. Um, I actually put that on like a community post, so guys, make sure you check that out. It was really funny because I asked people what the attack super and star power was, and it was Hobbs who said that the star power for the the attack for Cairo says he makes a video and stuns every brawler for 15 minutes because <laughs> my videos are typically 15 minutes long, which is. Oh man, it's super funny. That was my that was my favorite response right there. So then we left Supercell HQ after you know a lot of a lot of the day like meeting content creators. You know like I had conversations with Power Bang. I had conversations with Galadon. I had conversations with Chief Pat, with Molt and OJ, and um, all these powerhouses. You know people that I've looked up to for a very really long time regarding my own channel. And it was really great to just like talk with them like normal people about the things that we we deal with as YouTubers. So that was really cool. Um, then on our way out, we actually, they gave us these sweet gift bags, which I can't even thank Supercell enough for. So let me just pull out some of the stuff here that they did. So first of all, we got a Supercell hoodie, uh, which I already wear mine frequently on my channel. You know, I got another one. I don't know. Maybe this will be my wife's or something like that. Um, then, we, then we got a Supercell shirt, which is sweet. I think that was especially really cool for all the people that like don't have that. But then on top of that, oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. This is the limited edition 2018 Helsinki edition of the Brawl Stars shirt that I don't think that this is going to be released. I, I think that this is like content creators that went to this event only. Like it's a one-time thing, which is really, really cool. Um, then on top of that, guys, Supercell went big and they bought all of uh, the content creators that came a really sweet set. Here, I'll just show some of this. So you the guys with this. They said from Supercell with love right okay so this is hardware this is hardware to help like content creation a lot easier we've got i mean a three or four hundred dollar mic with this is like a two or three hundred dollar um headset um a three hundred dollar camera um and then a four hundred dollar capture card to help with stuff and there's also some other stuff in there as well um and i don't think you know they it's it's interesting because they supercell is um you know, I hear a lot of people talking about Supercell being greedy and stuff like that, and I know I'm like on the positive rece receiving end from here, but they're, they're so not about the money. It's very interesting to come here. The last time I came here, I was like, I was dead set on trying to like get somebody to spill the dirt on Supercell. If there's dirt, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is because they are so people oriented whenever we come here and stuff and it's really cool to have like because i'm a content creator that's been just doing brawl stars for the past year and a half and for them to go out and spend a ton of money to help me upgrade i don't know if you guys have noticed but i've been actually having issues with this mic right here it's a really sweet mic but every now and then it, it actually builds up static and it's uh i've been having issues with it so for them to like get me a mic you know that i can actually upgrade my equipment the camera is actually the same one that i'm using right now which is pretty good um it and uh but the, like a new capture card and stuff like that means a lot for for me but it also means a lot for like some of the other smaller brawl stars content creators like arc uh doing life gaming um you know chicken except for chicken already has like a really sweet mic and camera set up but <laughs> you know it means a lot to, to a lot of us that they they're willing to do that for the brawl stars content creators and it was really cool so um really fantastic so then we left supercell hq had a dinner party it was really funny because they had all these drinks there mike's moonshine primo's punch and barley's tea i don't actually drink um but it was cool to see that sat down with chief pat and oj um with lex and ray and ben tim and i and we just sat down and like had 
it was really great to sit down. Um, and then uh, on top of that, there was uh, Ryan. Ryan also, the community manager for Brawl Stars, sat down with us. I kind of felt like we were at the cool kids table because Ryan was there, OJ was there, Chief Fat, you know, it was like we were the with the cool kids table. <laughs> I don't know. Talked a lot about uh, YouTube, um, and it was uh, it was really sweet to talk to them, for, like long term perspective. Like, what can I look forward to in the future, assuming things go well with Brawl Stars? Because you know, you you guys that are watching my channel um, that have been with me for a while, you know that I'm I'm kind of putting my uh, my butt on the line. I'm risking things a little bit with like doing YouTube at the moment and uh, to try and make my dream a reality. And it was really good to talk to them about their experiences in the past, what has actually led them led them to working their their own dreams. And it's uh, I don't know. It was really a cool. Um, so it's been good. I've and then also at the end of the night, um, a couple of the Brawl Stars artists actually pulled me aside and they were talking to me and Lex and we just like discussed some of the stuff. Like we talked about Mortis's hat and like the story behind that and like the story behind a lot of the other artwork for the other brawlers. And it was uh, it was inter It was really really cool to sit down and talk with them and. Um, it's been fun. I cannot believe that we are here at this point where Brawl Stars is global or where it's going global or it's being released. Um, I can't believe that I get to like press the button for a country. I don't know what country it is. I hope it's the United States. That would be cool. If Lex and I can like dual press that button like boom, USA, <laughs> like that would be, that would be a dream come true. Like, you, it, oh man, it's cool. Uh, big things are in store. Uh, this game is going to be huge. Uh, I there have been so many conversations about the potential for esports for Brawl Stars. I think that's going to be huge. Uh, and there's this is this is a huge moment in my life. I don't know, I, I, like I can understand why Brawl Stars is so exciting for going global is so exciting for me. But I'm I what I what I want to talk to you guys about or what I want you guys to put in the comment section below is why are you excited for Brawl Stars to go global? What um, why has this big moment been leading up for you? Like I, a lot of people that watch my channel or most people on my channel don't, don't, haven't been playing Brawl Stars already. You know what I mean? Like we're about, but like you guys, this is the last video that you guys as my, you guys are my OG, my original fan base. You guys were with this, you know, you guys have been watching my channel through the hard stuff, um, through landscape to portrait or from portrait to landscape like that was a hard time for brawl stars it was the right call i think and i agree with everything that supercell has done up to this point regarding that but you guys have been through some hard stuff with me and this is the last video of that where my audience is no longer just beta players where my audience is now going to be global and so i just want you guys to know that i can I cannot thank you enough for all the support that you have shown me on my channel and I I will not ever forget you guys. Like I might not be able to I might not know your guys' names. I might not know um I try to read the the chat as much as I can, you know, the comment section and try to familiarize myself with my frequent viewers. And I know quite a few of you guys by name. Like I see your profile pictures and I'm like, okay, I've I will read these comments of those frequent commenters because um, because you guys have made my channel a possibility and I don't know what's going to happen with the future. Um, but you guys, I, I just cannot thank you enough. And this is, this is very real for me and, or this is very surreal for me, like not real. Like I just don't even know. Um, and I, I, I wish that I had a better words to say for, I wish that I was more fluent, uh, with, or eloquent with what, with my speech. And this video is interesting because I'm not going to edit this video. Most of my, all my, all, actually almost all of my videos that I put out for you guys have like a script where I actually write out a script. I come up with specific things that I like to say. And I think that's one of the reasons why my channel does well is because I put a lot of quality into the things that I say, but this is not going to be that. Um, this is just like straight up me talking to you guys thanking you for all of your support and I just want you to know that I just I'll never forget the love and the support that you guys gave me you guys my viewer base you guys are the reason why I made this decision to put my life on the line and try to make my dream reality of doing YouTube so a huge thank you to you and I also wanted to give a huge an incredible huge thank you to my my YouTube sponsors um, for that actually like become members on my channel and get that badge next to their name. If you see somebody with a badge next to their name in the channel, then like their comment. 
I mean, because they're going the extra mile and helping support the channel. So like their comment. I also wanted to give a huge thank you to my my Patreon sponsors. I have uh, right now, if you go onto my Patreon channel, there are a couple of people that have made very significant pledges every month to really help support the channel, and I cannot thank them enough for for that. It's um, <sighs> doing doing this has been a um, a very like emotional decision for me to actually do YouTube full time. And because one of the things is that like the revenue is just like so up and down like one month, like December, December's a great month because all the advertisers, they want to, you know, December's a great month, January, awful month, you know, and I know that next month where I'm having really good numbers as far as like ad revenue and things like that goes for, for de December, I know it's going to tank in January and having those people that are helping to support through channel, for, through channel memberships and through Patreon sponsors. That goes such a long way in helping me feel a little bit more secure. And so just just thank you. I know I'm ranting on a lot about this, but I just can't thank you guys enough. And I, <laughs> this is awesome. This is why I do a script for my videos because otherwise I just rant. I just go, this is why I edit my videos and cut out all the stuff. <laughs> you guys have no idea. My When I record videos, they're like 40 minutes long and then I cut it down into like 15 minutes because <laughs> I just talk about stuff. I could just go and go and go. And I don't know if that's actually the best thing. But anyways, love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. For now, this is Kairos time ticking by and we will see you in freaking Brawl Stars Global launch.